7 Best Advices from the Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck Never Trust a Person Whose TV Is Bigger Than Their Bookshelf by Amelia Clark When I started reading this book, trust me I encounter so many changes in my mind. How many times we give so damn about the things which are not necessary and the interesting part is that we know that but still we do that, and this what it is termed as the feedback loop from hell in this book. I am going to mention 7 best lines mentioned in the book which I consider to be the best. 1. We are wired to become dissatisfied with whatever we have, and satisfied by only what we do not have. It's damn true. Let's say you have a Honda City car, but you will dream of having a BMW, you will never satisfy what you truly have, you will never appreciate what you have right now instead you will look for things, which you don't have and this will never end and you will never be satisfied in your life. 2. The problem is that giving too many fucks is bad for your mental health. It causes you to become overly attached to the superficial and fake, to delicate your life to chasing a mirage of happiness and satisfaction. We always think what other people will think and sometimes I am one of them. No one cares what you do, but sometimes we give so many fucks, it affect our mental health. So stop giving too many fucks on what you can't control and do things which matter most for you. 3. The more you desperately want to be happy and loved, the lonelier and more afraid you become, regardless of those around you. You will never be happy if you continue to search for what happiness consists of. You will never live if you are looking for the meaning of life. When you care less about something, you do it better at it. A person who is least invested in the success of something that actually ends up achieving it. Notice how sometimes when you stop giving fuck, everything seems to fall into place. This happens with me a lot. Whenever I don't care about the end result of what I am doing, I have excelled in that area. Whenever I give interview of different companies, most of the time I hesitate more because I think of it all the time, but the best interview I had given in life was that of Zoomcar and trust me I had never thought so much about that and it really went very well. So rather than asking for love first give love, if you want to be cared for, care for someone first, if you want to be trusted by someone, first trust someone. The feedback loop from hell. 4. You get pissed off at the stupidest, most insane stuff and you have no idea why. And the fact that you get pissed off so easily starts to piss you off even more. And then, in your pretty rage, you realize that being angry all the time makes you a shallow and mean person, and you hate this, you hate it so much that you get angry at yourself. Now look at you, you're angry at yourself, getting about being angry about being angry. Fuck you, wall. Here, have a fist. This is what I was talking about in the introduction of the article and I know this happens a lot with so many people and sometimes it is very frustrating. We just keep thinking and thinking and sometimes we waste so much of our time that we again think about how much we have wasted our time and again get angry and this is what the feedback loop from hell is. 5. People who become great at something become great because they understand that they're not already great, they are mediocre, they are average, and that they could be so much yet better. When Einstein was asked, how does it feel to be the smartest man alive, he replied, I wouldn't know. You'll have to ask Nikola Tesla. See how one of the greatest of all time scientists reply. He not consider himself as the smartest people of all time, he was always eager to learn always, the same as with Pablo, and every other smart people. If you think you are the smartest person in the room, then you are in the wrong room. 6. Nobody who is actually happy has to stand in front of a mirror and tell himself that he's happy. Give a thought on that. Do you need to stand in front of the mirror and shout that I am happy or I am successful? A person who is actually happy or successful knows from inside. He doesn't have to tell everybody that he is happy or he is successful or he is smart. 7. Whatever makes us happy today will no longer make us happy tomorrow, because our biology always needs something more, everything comes with an inherent sacrifice whatever makes us feel good will also inevitably make us feel bad. What we gain is also what we lose. What creates our positive experiences will define our negative experiences. Our generation rely much on materialistic things which gives pleasure for a short period of time but after some time we get bored and start looking for happiness in other things and this keeps on and on. We lose interest in person whom we thought we loved the most. We search for happiness here and there but never find. And last, I want to say don't give too many fucks on everything. 